whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. Right, so when one rejects the Heavenly Father's word, the law, statutes, and commandments, wisdom, all right, you're gonna be you're gonna be destroyed out here, man. It ain't something that I'm making up. This is out of the Bible. Precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. You know? That's what the most high requires a man that's gonna eat the whole row, not chew the corners out the book. Like a lot of you self-proclaimed Christians do. Alright? Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. You see? But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded, man. You know? But to the rest of you that despise this word, that reject it, spiritually are going to be destroyed here in the land of America, man. Alright? We got another one. And it's all, man, you know, it's 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 fair. The Lord is fair, man. You know, he's given all of us, he's given all of us a chance, man, to repent, to take heed. He's given us so many warnings, man. The Lord is 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 is, is gracious, man. You cannot you cannot deny that, man. I can't deny it. He's given me plenty of time to to, to, to get myself in order. To, uh, to uh, examine myself To reflect And look back and, 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 and try to get things right But you're going to have people out here That are going to be cursing the Lord out man Gnashing their teeth man Cursing the Lord even when they're being destroyed That's how wicked they are And at, and, and at that time we're going to fully understand Why they deserve to be destroyed man You know And we do understand We know you're wicked You know but to do it to the heavenly, to the heavenly Father, because right now everybody's like, "Oh no, I love the Lord. I, 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 I accept the Lord in my heart. Nobody, nobody has my back like the Lord, and the Lord is my best friend. All this, that, and the third. But you ain't doing nothing the Lord tells you to do, man. And there's many things that you have to do in order to be accepted by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Lord will. You have to be the elect, man. Because it's not about works. It's about works and faith, all right? You gotta have faith and works. But at the end of the day, you have to be uh, predestined from the foundations of the earth to be accepted. But either way, the elect are gonna be rehearsing regardless, man. <laughs> you know, they're gonna be doing the works and having faith. But that, that can't save you alone, you know? One or the other. Because you got people out here saying that they got faith, some people uh, base everything off their works How knowledgeable they are You know uh, You know giving giving uh, money to the poor and to these charity things, you know these people that are just simple and stuck in the world, you know But it even pertains to those that are within the truth, you know it Says uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it out in Ezekiel 33 and 30 because I was saying You know all you people say that y'all y'all love the Lord and he, he's y'all's best friend and all this stuff But you ain't doing anything he commands you to do, you know And the way he tells you on how to get right is through a prophet Through a man of the Lord he sends him out And he he, he relays the message in the spirit in the mind and, 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 and Transfers it from his mouth to your mind You know But you ain't doing nothing about it uh, this is Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. You see, because in the old times they knew when a man of the Lord was out there preaching, a prophet was sent out. They knew that it was by the Lord. They, they, they all knew it in, that, in the ancient times. But in today's time, y'all have no discernment. Y'all have no spirituality about yourselves, and that y'all don't, y'all don't uh, uh, think about. Hey, man, this this possibly might possibly can, can be a man of the Lord, man. You know, instead y'all despise us, man. You reject it. You know, and you rather uh, listen to Joe Osteen. You rather listen to these 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 uh, prosperity pre preachers, the ones that are leading you to to y'all's death. You know, who else they got out there, man? They got, uh, you know, all these different Creflo Dollar, 
Eddie Long was the recent one that got destroyed, killed, you know, for being a homosexual, you know. Y'all 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 rather listen to them uh mega star churches, man. You know? <laughs> Woo, man, this dude almost got ran over right now. Eat a mic straight up. Alright, it says uh uh, Ezekiel 33 and 31 It says And they come unto thee as the people cometh And they sit before thee as my people But they hear thy word And they hear thy words But they will not do them See so it goes into your mind But you ain't It ain't, it ain't, it ain't clicking with you It's like in that movie uh, 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 White Man Can't Jump with, uh, with Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes And he put on a, 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 a song I, felt, I, think, I, I think it might have been Jimi Hendrix And uh Wesley Snipes is telling him, hey, but he's like, what? I think Woody Harrison was like, what did you know about that? Or vice versa, one, of the, one way or the other. But then I know Wesley Snipes said, you, you don't hear Jimmy, though. He's like, what are you talking about? I don't hear him. He's like, you don't hear him. You're not feeling, you don't feel him. You're not feeling him the way you need to be. You know, it, it's not resonating with you the way it needs to resonate with you. So that's how this word is not resonating with you. It's not, it's not transforming you. You're not living by it. It's not, it's not moving you. It's not possessing you. You see? You're not being fervent in spirit, you know? Being on fire for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's what it requires, man. When you hear these words, that's what it's going to do. It's going to move you, man. Literally. <laughs> it's going to move. You're not going to stay stagnant. The spirit's going to tell you, get your ass up. You're going to get up. Because the flesh can fight you and tell you, oh, I don't want to go out. Oh, I'm going to stay at home. Or I'm not going to do a video. You know, I'm not going to do a sit down. You know, but out of nowhere, the spirit will pop you, pop in your mind and tell you, get up. Do it. That, that's how it is with y'all, man. That's how it was right here in the book of Ezekiel, what he's talking about. That's not resonate. It don't resonate with you, man. This Bible is not given to everybody the truth, man. That's why the Lord spoke in parables. You know, the, the, the disciples even said, why do, why do they speak in parables? Because he said, it's not given to them for, for them to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But unto you, unto who? Those that are the elect. All right. But even, even though we, we can break it down to them, clear in their face, the Lord is going to not allow them to accept it. You know, the scriptures say, cast not thy jewels and pearls before swine and dogs. Even if, even if we do, out of sincerity of heart, preach the gospel, give the breakdown, the proper breakdown, they still are incapable of receiving the truth and retaining it in the, in the spirit, man. Why? Because the Lord had ordained it to be that way. That's why I was saying, man, we are blessed, brothers, man. And we're coming into the Passover, which is tomorrow, sundown, March 11th. You know? This, this is, man, we're coming into some times, man. We always say that. The elders been saying that. But it, hey, guess what? The, the prophet's been saying it. You know? We just know through the spirit, man. And we've been knowing. We always knew in the old times. And to this very time, we're coming into some, some great, horrific times, man. We are blessed, Akim. We are blessed. And I can't say that enough because we could be out there still in the world, man. We could, we could be out there still doing the things of the world, stuck in whatever it was, uh, making rap songs, and that's all you would think about was beats, lyrics, or, or you know, you were into dancing, break dancing, beat one, trying to be creative, come out with certain moves, you know, or you were just stuck out there uh, in, in the clubs and the bars, DJing, you know. We're blessed, man, to be taken out of this place, man, and to be doing the work for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And to see the things that we see and to hear the things that we hear, man. Because these people have no idea, man, that this, this place is about to be destroyed, man. It says, Ezekiel 33 and 31. For with their mouth they should they do, for with their mouth they shoot much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. You see? So they're governed by the lust, the flesh, and they go upon their own ways, man, their own heart, their heart's desires, you know? Ezekiel uh, 33 and 32, And lo, 
that were unto them as a very lovely song of one that had a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument for they hear thy words but they do them not you see because they don't resonate with you man the bible the scriptures don't click with you man all right that's why y'all are lukewarm here in america that's why y'all are narcissistic here in america because the Bible, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai don't click with you, man. All right? That's what, the, that's what Ezekiel, the spirit, was telling the people in that time, man. It says, Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. It's like y'all people, people ain't taking heed to, to the, uh, the, uh, the things that are going on into the world right now that, that the Bible prophesied about. Russia is prophesied in the scriptures. All right? Gog, that's Gog and Magog, man. Which is, they're about to, they're ready for war. You got North Korea uh, testing their missiles, man. They're, they're shooting over there towards, I think, China, if, if I'm not mistaken. And China, America, they're all warning North Korea to, to, to chill out with their missile testing, man. We're about to go to war, man. And I'm talking about just America. I'm talking about the whole world, man. World War III. Even the people you call, you, uh, you, uh, civilians, y'all gonna have to fend for yourselves here in America, man. The race riots are coming. All right? That's what's coming, man. Great destruction. Death. That's why our apostles, our elder. Has, has, has coined this time uh, death, destruction, and diligence, man. It says, and when this cometh to pass, pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. They're going to be like, damn, man, I should have woke out of sleep. Why didn't I listen, man? Why didn't I pray harder to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Why didn't I get on my knees and break down, man? Why didn't I beg him, Baba Kashai, Baba Kashai, to help me? You know? But hey, it's all good because the elect are going to be the only ones that are going to uh, wake out of that, man. All right. Only the elect are going to wake up from that, man. No. But it's going to be too late, man. You're gonna die. You're gonna die in your wickedness, man. All because you decide you, you decided to not want to take heed to these words, man. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go to the book of Acts, chapter 28, and start at verse uh, 26, saying, "Go unto this people and say, Hear ye, shall hear, and shall not understand; and seeing ye shall see." And not perceive. For the heart of this people is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have, have they closed, yet they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. So the only way, again, you're gonna be uh, taken out of that, that spirit of slumber is through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which is through the word, through a man that teaches you. To you scoffers out there, you mockers that try to say that we uh, can't be uh, taught by no man and worship no man, honor no man, reverence no man. Come on, man. You would have never uh, woken up to the truth. You know, so you're saying that uh, uh, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, they, 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 they taught men. And men learn from them. You know? We all learn from men, man. We all hear the Heavenly Father's word through preaching. That's the only way, man. You know? That's the only way. I'll bring out another scripture. This is Zechariah 7 and 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. You see? So it's on you, man. Your blood is upon your own hand. Your blood is upon your own head, man. All right, your own hands. Y'all's blood ain't on my hands. 
but I have to continue until Shiloh come. It can't stop today. Like I, I made mention earlier in the prior uh, uh, videos uh, that I can't just come out here once and do, and do this work and say, that's it. Y'all's blood are not on my hands and stop going out. I got to keep going until the destruction come, until uh, I, I'm delivered or whenever the, the, my course is over, man. Until I, the Lord see, tells me I'm, I'm done. You know, until then I gotta keep going and pushing this word, man. But y'all, y'all, y'all's heart is wax gross, and y'all's art, y'all's ears, are dull of hearing, man. You know. It says at uh, Zerach, Zerach seven and eleven, but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder, the the, the so shoulder, and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law. And the words, and the words, right? And the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. See? So you have to take heed to men that have this truth because the spirit is resonating and dealing and dwelling in them, man. And that's what's going to bring you out. From this darkness, man. Lord will, if you're the elect, you're gonna be draw, drawn out. That's what Moses, Moses, uh, the name Moses, Masha, which means to be drawn out. And it's all spiritual because look at the time we're in. We're in the time of the Passover. So the Lord is drawing out, man. He's drawing out the elect. And 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 and, and uh, 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 and we're uh, spiritually building up an ark, man. Because the scriptures say we're gonna we're gonna be in the times as of, of Noah. You know, this is, we're coming into the Passover, which is tomorrow sundown. And Moses was used as, he was a prophet, a man of the Lord was used. And he was uh, uh, drawn out from, from the uh, pollutants of the uh, Egyptians. All right, the evils. And he, 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 he just, he, he rather had dwelt with his brother, you know. And in, in that, in, in return, they were all uh, uh, delivered from the, uh, the plagues that were set upon Egypt. You know, and that's what's going on right now. We don't want to be caught out there, man. Sifted, you know, by Satan. You know? It says uh Zechariah 7 and 13. Therefore it, it comes therefore it therefore it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. You know? Why? Because you reject it. You rejected the Heavenly Father's word, man. You didn't want to take heed. You, you thought you knew what all. You know? You thought you had the truth. You, you thought and said in your heart that you, you didn't have to listen to men. You didn't have to listen to what a man had to tell you. You know? That only God, or, or only God can judge me. Trying to act like you're Tupac, like you're some kind of thug or gangster. You ain't nothing, man. You know? You ain't nothing, man. You know? I'm gonna go ahead and bring out bring out that account with Moses. All right, in uh, Hebrews 11 and 24, and it was all through done through faith, man. It was all done through faith. It's just, that's what it's all based off, man. It's like us. Everything is based off faith with us, man. You know, the Akim, the brotherhood. I speak for myself. Everything is based. Everything I have to base off faith, man. I can't just do things that I want. I'm not like I was when I was uh, before I came into the truth, you know. And that's what it takes in, in order for one to be sustained and to be protected in the, in the coming perils that are coming to America, man. All right. It says uh, now I'm gonna bring out the account about Moses on when he decided to uh, the, uh, separate himself from the Egyptians and the customs and traditions, man. This is Hebrews 11 and 24. By faith, Moses. When he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh, the son of Pharaoh's daughter. You see? It's just like us, man. You know, we have our government name. But then when we come into the truth, into the, the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're given our Hebrew name. You know? Yah Batazah, Ban Yasha Allah, man. You know? Which means uh, he is sorrowful, the son of, uh, of Jacob. All right? Uh, he is a prince of power. A son of a, a, uh, the son, or you, or vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's Yah Batazah, Ban Yah man. 
So that's what Moses did. Moses, his name means Masha. Masha, that's how you say Moses' name in the Hebrews, Masha, which means to be drawn out. Okay? So he 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 rebelled against the Egyptians, man. He was the uh the main, he was what you would call the resistance. Alright? It is like Esau, the so-called white man today, he's deeming those that have an oppositional defiant disorder. Meaning that somebody that is, who's mad, that has a problem with authority, is deemed mental ill. Because his whole objective is trying to uh, gain control of the masses, man. The so-called white man trying to implement the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. All right? So Moses, he, he, he stripped away from that, man. But that was all through the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah that he drew him out. So that's what's happening right now during the Passover, man. We're separating ourselves. The word holy means to separate, right? So we have to separate ourselves not even just down during the Passover. I'm just trying to tell you, man. It says, uh, Hebrews 11 and 25, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of Yahweh than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. You know, because Moses knew that, that uh, when he was receiving the visions, he, he met the Lord in the burning bush, uh, that, that destruction was coming upon the Egyptians, man. You know? Just like America's uh, known as Egypt, spiritually known as Egypt, and guess what? America's gonna be destroyed. Just the, the, or two days ago, right? Two days ago, they had the statue, the Statue of Liberty. The the light went out for approximately uh, like one hour. For like one hour, the light went out. And that's all spiritual, man, because this place, America, is according to the Bible, well, all, all kingdoms is like is, is referred to as a woman, but this particular kingdom is a lady of uh, 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 a lady of kingdoms, or she likens herself as as a queen. All right, which which basically is a, a whore, you know, because you go to the there's some females that call themselves uh, divas, well, a diva is like a goddess, man. It's like an idol, all right, which is basically a, a demonic spirit, you know. That's the same way as this place. So Moses knew that Egypt was going to be destroyed. If all its glory, it was going to be casted down by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because Moses knew something in his spirit, something dre dreadful was going to happen, man. Something drastic, something uh, 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 horrific was going to happen. Just like the same thing with Noah. Noah was a preacher of righteousness. He was moved by the spirit, man. He was commanded to build the ark. He told that destruction wasn't to come. Hey, it had to be a heavy spirit on them for him to do that. For them to do that. It was a heavy spirit. They believed they had faith. They moved with fear, man. Fear has to be with faith. Fear has to be with love. Fear has to be with respect, man. So going back to what Moses did, man. Hebrews 11 and 26. Esteeming the reproach of Yahweh Shai Mashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. You know? Like I said, respect coincides with fear. So he feared, you know, for his life. And that's what, how you're supposed to be, man. You're supposed to fear. You don't want to be destroyed out here. Hebrews 11 and 27. By faith he forsook Egypt, right? Egypt, which means a uh, house of bondage, because the, the real name in that time was uh, Mezraim. All right, that was the uh, the proper name of that land. All right, but Egypt, the word Egypt means house of bondage. It says, by faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who was invisible. You see, so he he he, he feared Yahweh more than he feared Pharaoh, and that's the mentality that you have to have, man. You have to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? You gotta fear the Lord, man. It says uh Hebrews eleven and twenty-eight. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. You see? And that's what we're doing, man. We ourselves we're keep we're gonna keep the Passover. Lord will we come to that day tomorrow. You know? We're gonna keep the Passover. Why? At least, least the, uh, the, the 
least the destroyer come and touch the firstborn, man. You know? He's like, me, myself, I'm a firstborn. You know? But then you have you have your, your children that are, you know, you have from their loins. You know? But that was, uh, uh, Moses was moved through fear of all that, man. It says in, in he Hebrews 11 and 29, by faith, they passed through this Red Sea as by the by the dry land, which the Egyptians assigned to do were drowned. You know? So the other basically uh Egypt was destroyed, man. Alright, and it was already predestined that it was gonna happen, you know. Like everything is written for our learning, man. So real quick, let me go ahead and go over here to uh, Hebrews or Proverbs 1 and 7 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction you see so the fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge man all right and it uh, but fools despise wisdom and instruction because that 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 fear of the Lord is beginning knowledge in order for you to receive knowledge you have to first be obedient all right you have to be as a, as in a disciple which a, a disciple is someone that's being learned a student all right, that's the only way you can become knowledgeable is you receive instructions. But fools despise it. Okay. Proverbs one and eight. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of, of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck. You know, about thy neck. So that's what's gonna keep us preserved. Preserve us in that time, man. You know. Not, not out here and in, 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 uh, uh, indulging ourselves in the, the lust the, what the world has to offer. That's not gonna that's not gonna keep you safe, man. That's gonna get you killed and destroyed, man. This is first John chapter two and fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So uh, Moses, he had the love of the Father in him, which was that fear, man. He feared what? The, he, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, you know? He knew that he had to uh, obey the law, statutes, and commandments. He had to obey, ultimately, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because they are the law, man. I'm going to read this 1 John 2 and 15 one more time. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So the love of the Father is not in a lot of you people, man. You know? Uh, let's get that what that word, what love is. 1 John 5 and 3. It's like it. 1 John 5 and 2. By this we know that we love the children of Yahweh. When we love Yahweh, right? And keep his commandments. So people are like, man, what are you doing, man? You don't love, you don't, you don't care. You know, you, you you're not just trying to spread nothing but fear or hate. No, man, we're trying to tell you that you're about to be destroyed according to the Bible, man. So right there, it cuts what y'all people say because this is how we show you we love you, man. We're showing you love. And the Bible tells you, it says that uh, love working no ill towards his neighbor, man. And that 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 ill is, is talking about what? Not following the law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know? It says, 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of Yahweh that we keep his commandments. All right? So that's what love is, truly is. Everybody says, oh, I love the Lord. I'll do anything for the Lord. But yet your works are, are, are contrary. But the Bible defines what love is, man. It's obeying the commandments. For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. All right? So the Bible defines what love is. All right? So the love, the, the love of many shall wax cold, talking about Matthew 24, meaning that a lot of people are going to uh, uh, separate themselves from, from, from the, uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, man. And they're gonna walk upon uh, the, their own lust, their own desires, their own wickedness. All right. I'm gonna bring out another one. Second John, verse six. And this is love, 
that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. So that's how you walk in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Is that you have to take heed to the word, man. Receive instruction. Be as a wise, a wise son, not a foolish son. Because the, the fools are going to be the ones that are going to be destroyed on this side, man. Because they rejected knowledge. All right, let's go, let's go to Hosea chapter 4, ver, uh, chapter four uh, verse 8. All right. So like it, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. You see? So the scriptures, the spirit, is saying that the Lord's people are going to be destroyed for lack of knowledge. Why? Because they rejected the prophets. They didn't want to pay attention, listen. All right, they didn't want to consider what was being said. All right, they didn't have fear of the Lord in them, their heart, their mind, because the word heart in the Hebrew is lab, which is talking about the mind, man. Okay, that's another thing that 2017 people still think in the heart is, is you, you get feelings in your heart, man. Come on, man. Uh, where was I at? Uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. You see? So in return, you're going to be rejected. You're not going to be accepted. So in order for you to, re to, be, to have knowledge, you have to uh, receive instructions. Okay? If there's an there's a order. You, you, you receive instructions. You learn from that. You become knowledgeable. And then you, to become wise, you apply that knowledge to your life. All right? It says... says uh, this is Romans 10 and 2 for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high but not according to knowledge you know but you have you have a zeal but you have no knowledge man you know because you reject the knowledge you're rejecting the breakdowns you're rejecting that you're, you're not a Hebrew Israelite, you know? You're rejecting all the things that are, you, that are needful to you to, to receive in our salvation, you know? The scriptures say in the time of Moses, whenever the angel was guiding them, there was a certain thing that the Lord told them on what to not to do. I'm gonna bring it out. Uh, this is uh, Exodus 23 and 20. Behold, I send an angel before thee, to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. See? So that was Yahweh Shai. And they're saying that if you if you provoke him, or it says beware of him and obey his